Hello friends. Today I will show you how to program a recipe in Delta HMI. So let's start. Open the DOP soft. Create new project. File new. Select the HMI model number. I am selecting the basic HMI model. You can select any HMI model from this drop down list as per your convenience or as per your model. Click on next. Select the PLC driver. I am connecting the PLC with RS485. So selected here RS485. Okay then finish <coughs> so this is the first screen <coughs> so configure recipes go to in recipes enhance recipes i am going to configure enhance recipe because i want to use the floating values that's why i am going for the enhance recipe click on enable enhance recipe give here one register address i am giving d200 you can give any address for register click on new recipes give the name for the recipe recipe one field i want to save one uh, uh, sorry i want five fields so entered five and i want 100 programs so that's why i entered 100 okay next so here yeah, you can define the data format i want to use the floating so selecting the floating for first four arrays i am selecting the floating address and for last one i am selecting the selecting character address because i want recipe name to store in this register giving the length of character for okay finish okay here you can see 100 recipe name right we have selected 100 that's why it's showing 100 fields and it's showing the five uh, four floating fields first second third fourth and one character field so you have to select it as per your uh, inputs can modify recipe you can add groups as per your program you can add multiple program and store you can add here or delete these we have used d200 address okay let's save program once just give the name and hit save ok now let's start go to element take one numeric input numeric input entry ok just give the address so here you have to select the address as enhance recipe 0 go to internal memory enhance recipe remember this thing first address would be 0 I will copy that and enter in read address same address should be in read ok uh, uh, now we want to floating so change the double word floating I will define the format as a triple nine maximum value integer digit 3 and fractional digit 2 ok Okay, let's copy this. We have four value of floating, four floating inputs and one character input we have defined in recipe. So same we will take here. 
just a line only change the name second one is one third one would be enhanced recipe two fourth one will be enhanced recipe three okay here I have taken four floating and last one is character so now we will take one numeric in uh, sorry one character input let's go in input character in tree select one give the next address that is enhance recipe four same in read okay let's make it same format okay now I will take uh, I will give just the text this is our value first value you can take any text here this is our first set value it could be pressure it could be temperature or it could be time as for your program okay now set value 2 set value 3 and this is set value 4 and next would be a name I just want to save the name so that's why last one is character this is set value 2 this is set value 3 this is set value 4 this is name now let's check display numeric display give the address it's d200 in recipe we have configured as d200 so that's why i have taken here d200 i will show you once here i have taken d200 it means the first address would be d200 and it's two word so second address would be d202 second address would be d202 third address would be d204 so here first one i have taken d200 second word i will take as a d202 is word that's why it takes two register so this is, oh, this is four this one is six this one is eight always take consecutive register for this i need character display give address as a two zero eight okay this is 6, so last one would be 208. As this is floating value, it takes two registers, that's why we are taking after one. Let's give the name for this also. This is our actual value. actual value 1 actual value 2 actual value 3 actual value 4 
okay this is numeric entry all now take one momentary button to save the recipes and one new make input for recipe number let's take a numeric entry this is our recipe number to store the recipe number give the address as the recipe number internal memory recipe number enhance recipe number ok just copy and read it should be same ok in this momentary button just keep in mind this thing this is a very important thing the address should be internal memory dollar 10.0 don't change this address this is important thing always keep in mind ok ok let's give text load recipe for one state one loading ok now and we want to configure one macro for this for this memo entry button so go into macro on micro uh, here we want we need to configure the macro so click on macro wizard command data transfer sorry before this we will configure again before this we need to go in option configuration control block here you need to check enable recipe control recipe group number enhance recipe control and enhance recipe group number this d2 address we have to use in micro so keep in mind this d2 address ok now we will configure the macro go in macro on macro macro wizard command logical operation sorry data transfer move here destination here we need to configure d2 in destination sorry d2 enter and for source uh, i want constant 4 so just click on constant 4 don't change this update macro it will update second macro i want to add delay so i want one and half second delay so 1500 zero zero. it means one and half second update macro it will update in micro wizard you can see over here again go to command data transfer move now i want to move zero into d2 select d2 select zero here constant zero update macro ok done what i have done first i have moved 4 in d2 then given delay and then move 0 again in d2 delay is 1 and half second so we have done for this macro click ok save let's compile and start offline simulation go to tools offline simulation Oh, one error is there let's see what's the error below output window you can see the error here let's check what's the error oh the address is wrong address it's wrong before that yeah we need to make it as a floating right same as above set value this is floating so actual value should be also in floating so double word sorry for this mistake 3 2 ok same we need to configure for this 3 so I will just copy paste and we will change the address again this is D202 this is 204 
this is 206 it should be always in consecutive manner right save then again to offline simulation okay now there is no error now set value set enter any random value i will enter just 1.1 for second i will enter 11.1 for third set value triple 1.1 for fourth one you can type any any random value yes yes as per your convenience yeah give the name abc okay now i will load the program so this HMI value will reflect in PLC address these are the PLC actual addresses are the PLC addresses PLC registers right and these set registers are the internal HMI registers so internal memory move into PLC memory right so let's for second program I will select second so for second right now there is a zero we have not set anything for second now we will set one by one just enter any value I will give a random name okay enter right so first we will configure third recipe right now it's zero again load anything in third program in this way you can add multiple now we have configured 300 programs so in this way you can add 300 programs in this recipe just load select second and load second addresses moved into PLC address these are HMI these are PLC addresses select third now third one moved into after click on load recipe it will get moved into PLC register right select 550 so for 50 number recipe there are 0 right now in set value so let's set anything it will not reflect in PLC register until you press the load recipe button ok now I place load ok and it register moving to PLC register okay done thank you